Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. Yesterday, I met a few of my fellow professional photographers for some socially distant coffee. And as we were sitting around discussing photography, I mentioned something that I thought was really unique to me. I told them that when I process an image, I rarely ever move the vibrance or saturation slider. And I thought that was pretty unique. Well, turns out the other three guys mentioned that they don't either. And one of them uh, isn't a Lightroom user. They use Capture One. And they too said they almost never touch the vibrance or saturation slider. As a matter of fact, if they do, they'll just actually bring it down a little bit. And as we were talking, I said, well, I guess this is a professional secret that I didn't even know was a secret. And we kind of laughed about it and said, yeah, apparently um, this is something many of us do and we never really talk about it. And you may be wondering, how do you get away without moving the vibrance or saturation slider? As you look at this image here, it looks pretty saturated. And if I give you a before after, there's before and there's after. And it's a RAW file. You can see it's a Fuji RAW file. It was shot with a Fujifilm X-T4. So there's not, no, no tricks here. Um, how did I get it so saturated? Well, a couple different things. First of all, in Lightroom, I go to the HSL panel, and there's HSL panels in probably just about every um, raw developer out there, so this isn't unique to Lightroom. You could do this with just about any application you happen to use, even if it's not Lightroom. And you could see that with the HSL panel, I could selectively saturate the colors I want to saturate. And in this case, I saturated yellow a lot, green a lot, and blue a little bit. With HSL though, we have a little more power over those individual colors. Uh, we also could affect the luminance value and actually change the hue of that color if we want to. Now for this image, I didn't change, oh I did. I changed the hue of yellow. Uh, see, I put it to minus 63. And as far as luminance is concerned, I actually then made the oranges brighter, the yellows brighter, the greens a little less bright, the blue less bright. So I affected not only the saturation of specific colors, I, ex I affected the hue of one of the colors and the luminance values of a number of the colors. So I went from this to this. Now also, um, not only do I use the HSL panel to affect saturation, I also will do it with a brush or a radial filter or sometimes a graduated filter. Now in this case, after I was done with those adjustments, I didn't feel that the hills had enough saturation in them. So I went to the brush tool and if I click on like this brush stroke right here and I stay over it, well it's not doing it, but I'll show the overlay over here. There it is. You can see I did some brush strokes over there over these hills and when you look at it you can see I turned the saturation up to plus 29 for this part of the hills right over here and over here is another brush stroke I did and with this brush stroke I'll show the overlay it was all these hills off in the distance and with that brush stroke I also turned up the saturation as well so there's no need to use the global vibrance or saturation sliders, at least most often you don't have to. And as a matter of fact, um, actually when I was ready to share this image and I shared it on Instagram, I actually went to the global saturation, saturation slider and I pulled it down a little bit because just the individual uh, HSL saturation I uh, deployed and the brush just made it a little bit too over the top saturated. So I actually pulled global saturation down just a little bit uh, just to make it look a little more like it actually looked when I was there. So there's a professional secret that I didn't even know was a secret. We rarely ever uh, use vibrance and saturation uh, globally. We'll do it selectively with the HSL panel or if you're using a, an application that doesn't have HSL, it probably has something very similar and we'll use it there and we'll use a local adjustment tool as a brush, radial filter, or graduated filter to apply the saturation very selectively where we want it. Now, 
What about you? Do you use the vibrance and saturation sliders or are you more like I am using it selectively with the HSL panel and or brushes, radial filters, graduated filters? If you haven't tried it, I suggest you do. Uh, post your images on Instagram and tag me in them. I'm at Anthony Morganti on Instagram and I'm interested to see your work without moving the vibrance or saturation sliders. Thank you everyone watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.